Welcome back to the program. Things are cooking along. Uh, Steve Buscemi is going to be out here in uh, just a moment. Uh, Conan, yeah. can I talk to you for just a second about something? Sure thing, Andy. Go ahead. Um, I'm a little worried about Joel. Joel? Yeah. Well, folks, I should explain. Joel Goddard is uh, our announcer here at the show. You hear him uh, every night when he introduces the program. What do you mean, Andy, that you're, that you're worried about Joel? Well, tonight when he introduced the program, uh -huh. he just, he sounded sad, you know, just kind of sad. I, I, I got to be honest, you know, we, we do the show every day and I'm sleepwalking through most of it, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I, I didn't notice. I, I, I didn't notice well, anything. Uh, I, I, I'm, I don't think I was imagining it. Um, Liz, could you do me a favor and play like one of Joel's intros from last week? With Conan O'Brien from NBC Studios. Yeah, that's Joel. Yeah, yeah, he seems like good old Joel. Right. Now, now, Liz, play tonight's intro. It's late night with Conan O'Brien from NBC Studios in New York. You're right. You know. You know. You know. You're you're right. It's it's really subtle, but you can notice that 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 there's a little bit of a change in him. He he seems a little little flatter tonight. I think he's depressed. Well, I guess what you know, we, we have a couple of we have a couple of minutes. I checked my watch uh -huh. um, be, before uh, the next guest comes out. Maybe we should use this time to try and try and cheer him up. You know, Liz, uh, Liz, can you patch us through to the voiceover booth, please? Sure, Conan. Hey, Joel, Joel, can you hear me? It's Conan O'Brien. Hi, Joel. With Andy Richter and the Max Weinberg Seven. Yeah, yeah, Joel. Joel, that's fine. That that's not what we're asking you for here. We we were just wondering, is there something bothering you lately? No, nothing at all. I'm fine, fine and dandy. <laughs> really? Because it 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 just seems like you might be a, a little bit down. Well, perhaps there have been a few gray clouds floating around my head the past few days. You know, like Cole Porter said. Fighting vainly the old ennui, <laughs> but it's nothing to be concerned about. Just a little garden variety loneliness. Well, Joe, that, that's normal. Everybody gets lonely. We're just wondering, is there anything in particular that's making you feel this way? Oh, you know, everything and nothing. The nothingness of what they call being alive. I guess I just can't get over how fast it goes, this life. And all along the way, you're told what to do. You know, parents, teachers, bosses. Cattle being led to slaughter have as much autonomy as we do. Sure, you're given the illusion of choice, like what brand of toothpaste to use, but it's all a lie, plain and simple. Wait a minute. Joel, the only... What? One minute you're a little boy mesmerized by the exquisite architecture of a budding blossom, and the next minute you're a bag of brittle bones being turned over in your nursing home bed uh, so some underpaid teenager who doesn't even know your name can change your soiled sheets. And what's of the afterlife? That's a sucker's game. If there's one thing I know, it's that when you're dead, you're dead. And the only thing that's left is the cold ground and the hungry worms. So you... you think the Yankees are gonna go all the way? I sure hope so, Conan. All right, good, okay. Well, we'll take a little break here, recover from that. We'll be right back with Steve Buscemi. You're gonna wanna see him.